Right here I have this electric toothbrush and water flosser. Let me go ahead and open this up and show you everything it comes with. This is everything that came inside the box besides a user manual. It does have this nice little carrying bag if you are taking this portably. Right here we have four different toothbrush heads. They all have these caps on them, which is really nice. Right here we have a type C to USB charge cord and that's gonna be for charging the electric toothbrush portion itself. And then this charge cord over here is for the actual water flosser. That's gonna plug into the back of the base right here. This little piece right here is actually a portable water flosser. This is gonna be perfect for if you're going on vacation and you don't have room to take this whole water flossing water reservoir unit and you can actually just use this with a glass of water. The nice thing about this whole set is that there are three different modes. You can use this as a water flosser, a toothbrush, or a water flosser and a toothbrush at the same time. Something that I do really like is that this whole set is waterproof, which is great because you are using this next to sinks and possibly in the shower. In order to put the toothbrush heads on, you're just going to click them on just like that. And while you're actually using this to brush your teeth, this does have a 30 second area change reminder where it's going to let you know to switch to a different quadrant of your mouth. There is an automatic two minute shut off just so you know exactly how long you've been brushing for. And something that I think is really cool is this upgraded version does have two different charging options. You can actually charge your toothbrush with this USB port, which you can see the little port is right down here at the bottom, but it also has wireless charging. All you need to do is have the base actually plugged into the wall, and then this is automatically going to charge once you have it in place. So that way you don't have to worry about your toothbrush ever running out of battery. I did wanna show you up close what the front of the toothbrush looks like. You can see when you turn this on, You can actually adjust the speed here of the toothbrush. And it very clearly indicates what level you're on right here on this little lit up section. You can turn the toothbrush off and then you can turn on the water flossing option. So that gives you the option to use both of them at the same time or just one of them. You can see we have these different toothbrushing modes, which is going to display right down here. There's actually five different modes, which is really nice. I do want to also note that this does have suction cups on the bottom, which would be really nice for it not moving around. I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up so I can show you how I would use this. Okay, I just plugged this in and you can see this is charging up because this unit is plugged into the wall. I also did want to mention that this does come completely off so you can easily fill it up with water. And actually the top of the reservoir is a spot that's perfectly going to fit your extra toothbrush heads. This is going to really come in handy, especially if you're sharing the space with somebody else. We're going to go ahead and try this on a couple of different settings. First of all, I'm just going to use this as just an electric toothbrush. You can see that while I do have water in the reservoir, I just have this little piece plugged into here so that it's not leaking water. So we're just going to independently use this as just a toothbrush. Okay, now I have this on the softest setting as well as the softest and most gentle mode. Okay, nice. I love that I can use this independently as an electric toothbrush. I really like that soft mode. I always recommend when using a new electric toothbrush to start at the most sensitive and the lowest mode for starters. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the water flosser portion of this in the travel mode. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm just gonna take this glass and fill it with water. Now we're gonna take this little travel tube and you can see how nice and long this is. I'm just gonna put it over the edge of the cup. So you just wanna make sure that the bottom of this tube is submerged in the water. So you can see it goes all the way down to here. Now you're gonna take this other end and you're just gonna place it into the water flossing hole in the back of the toothbrush. I'm gonna start it on the most gentle speed and setting as well. Okay, nice. 
That is so convenient that you can use this while traveling and not take this entire base. Now we're gonna use this the traditional setup way where this is already plugged into the base and we're gonna use both the toothbrush and the water flossing option. So I have it right in here and it does have a nice memory function so it can just turn on exactly to the last setting I had it on. So now all that I need to do now that I have this on is I have it on the lowest speed. I'm just gonna put it in my mouth and press both of the tooth brushing and the water flossing buttons. Okay, overall, I really like how convenient this setup is. I love how it's really functional and useful for use at home, but also on the go.